All right, so we're going to solve this uh, system of linear equations over here um, with a matrix, and we're going to use the Gauss-Jordan elimination method, sort of a little variation on the uh, Gaussian elimination method, with which involves a couple of extra steps. But the basic idea is that um, we want to end up with an identity matrix um, and then the constant matrix will, will be our answer. So um, let me just represent this as a matrix first. We'll just write this linear system as a matrix. So we'll write the coefficients, uh, negative 2, 1, 4. So here's the coefficient matrix, 1, 2, 8, 2, 6, 1, and then our constant matrix here, 12, 29, 17. And the basic idea is we'll perform row operations until we get something that looks like this. Uh, the coefficient matrix here will simply be an identity, identity matrix like that. These are zeros. The ma main diagonal is ones. And then um, whatever is left here will be the value of x. Whatever is left here will be the value of y. And whatever is left here will be the value of z. So those will be our answers. Um, so that's the idea here. I'm assuming that you're pretty comfortable with elementary row operations. So I'm not going to explain that too much. I'm going to try to do this thing in, in under 15 minutes. Um, there's a lot of steps. But that's, you know, I don't know. That's why it's good to use a computer to solve uh, matrix problems. But it's also good to know kind of what's happening and, and to practice doing it by hand so you, so you see what goes on. Um, so let's do this thing. I'm going to uh, erase our, well, let's see. I'll just keep our original system over here. Uh, I'll just kind of save it over here. And if we need to look at it at the end, we can. Um, and that's what we're going for. Here's what we're starting with. Okay, so the basic idea is uh, I want to start with column 1. I want to turn this into a 1. And uh, I want these two things to be zeros. And then I'm going to turn this into a 1 and this into a 0. Uh, this is already 1, so that's, that's good, but it'll probably change. So we'll have to turn that back into a 1. And then if we uh, make these things into zeros, we'll have a diagonal of main diagonal of 1s. Everything else will be zeros, and these will be our answers. So let's start with um, turning this first element into a 1, so we can divide this whole row by negative 2, or in other words, multiply it by um, negative 1 half. So I'm going to change row 1. We'll do negative 1 half, negative 1 half times row 1 will be a 1, negative 1 half, negative 2, and negative 6. And the other two rows will be unchanged. All right. Um, and then let's see here. We can. Um, we want to make this a zero, so we could, if we add the negative of this row to this, um, you know, one plus negative one will be zero, so that's good. So let's let's do that. In fact, but let me just move this whole um, guy over here, and what we can do is we can say um, we're gonna we're gonna take row 2 as is, we're going to add negative 1 times the values of row 1 to that. So uh, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1, uh, so the negative of negative 1 half is 1 half plus 2 is 2 and a half. Um, in fact, let me just make that into five halves. Um, uh, negative 
1 times negative 2 is 2, plus 8 is 10. Um, we got 6 is 29 is 35. And then our other rows remained unchanged. Okay, and I'm again just going to move this down here, and actually I'm going to save this work uh, up here, but make it really small so we don't have to look at it. Okay, um, let's make this into a zero. So what we can do is um, if we if we multiply the top row by negative 2, so negative 2 plus 2 will be 0. Um, so we'll take the original row 3 plus negative 2 times R1. Um, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 times one ha uh, negative 1 half is just 1. Um, plus 6 is 7, um, then we've got 4 plus 1 is 5, um, 12 plus 17 is 29. Um, and let's just rewrite our other rows. Basically, following the same procedure as the um, um, Gauss eliminate elimination method, um, but instead of having um, stopping with a triangular matrix, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep going and and make just a identity matrix. So there's a couple extra steps there. All right, um, let us move this down so we have some room um, kind of sloppy apologize okay so let's turn this one into a one so if you divide this whole row by five halves or, or in other words multiply it by two fifths times row two do two fifths times row two to get our new row two. So two fifths times zero is zero. Two fifths times five halves is one. Two fifths times ten is four. And two fifths times thirty five is what is that? So that's seventy divided by five, which is uh twenty fourteen. Uh, yeah. All right, and let's rewrite our other rows. All right. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, we've got a one zero zero, and we've got a one. So if we can make this into a zero. Uh, we are well on our way towards a solution. Um, again, going to make some room for us here. Throw it up over there, over Gauss's face. Um, okay, to make this into a zero, um, I can multiply row two by negative seven um, and add it to row three. I'm going to take row 3 as is and add negative 7 times row 2. So negative 7 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, negative 7 times 1 is negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Negative 7 times 4 is negative 28 um, plus 5 is negative 23. And then 
Negative 7 times 14 is what? Uh, 7 times 14 is negative 98 um, plus 29, negative 69. Alright, all right. Put that up there, destroy the evidence. Um, let's see. Uh, um, all right, I might have to rewrite that. I see, all right. Sometimes I struggle with this program. Okay, so we got negative six. 14 and negative 69. All right, let's see. Um, we want to make this now into a 1 so we could divide this by negative 23 um, or uh, multiply it by negative 1 over 23. So we've got 0, 0, 1, and um, 69 divided by 23 is 3. All right, and then we've got the other rows, which didn't change this time. I feel like I'm I'm getting sloppier and sloppier. I should I should rein it in. Um, okay, um, all that's left is we need to make these three elements into zeros, and then we are done. Uh, if if we were doing the um, Gauss elimination method, uh, we would be done here. We've got a um, triangular matrix. We could be done there, um, but we're gonna keep going and turn these guys into zeros. So let us, um, if we multiply row one by two and add it, let's see, um, let's take care of this four, actually. Um, let me make some, make some room here. Actually, I'm just gonna delete that, sorry. Go back in time. It's a good thing about screencasting. You can go back in time. You can see that. Um, let's shrink this a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to uh, multiply this row by negative uh, 4 and I'll add it to this row. I'll try. So this is row 2 plus negative 4 times row 3. Um, so this will be 0, this will be 1, and then this will be 0, and then um, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, plus 14 is 2. All right. Uh, oops. Sorry, I dragged the screen off there. In my zeal to get rid of this work. Um, all right. Now we can uh, make this into a zero. Multiply row three by. Uh, um, 2 and add it to row 1. Oops. 
So we're going to take row one, we're going to add um, two times row three. And when we do that, uh, so two times zero is zero, plus one is one. Um, this again stays as negative one half, uh, but two times one is two, plus negative two is zero. And then we've got two times three is six, plus negative six is um, zero. And then we've got one, one, three. Um, and then we can just add one half times um, row two to row one. So one half row two plus row one. Last step here. Um, so let's let's write in what we know. Okay, so one half of row of zero is, is zero plus one is one. One half of one is one half plus negative one half is zero. One half of zero is zero plus zero is zero. Uh, and so and then uh, one half of two is one plus zero is one. So here we've got our identity matrix uh, with that ma main diagonal of, of ones. And here are our answers. So x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, and z is equal to 3. Because uh, this is the coefficient of x where we started. Um, in fact, maybe try to expand this a little bit. Uh, well. try to show you. Let's go back to the original situation. Um, uh, this column was the x's. Um, so this is saying basically 1 times x uh, plus 0 times y plus 0 times z equals 1. So x is 1. 0 times x plus 1 times y plus 0 times z is 2. Uh, so y is 2, etc. So x is 1, y is 2, z is 3. That is the Gauss-Jordan elimination method, and um, good job. Thanks for hanging in there. Um, hopefully this wasn't too sloppy for you. I apologize if it was. Uh, but go ahead and pause or go back if, if you missed a step. Um, that was confusing, but hopefully that was, that was good. All right, see you later.